But yeah, every gem, bro. Every gem on every level. That was a real challenge. Okay, I, I want to play Fire, but I'm going to mark that in my notes, actually. I want to play it because it's actually such a fun game to play with other people. Like, I think it would be a game that would do really good on Switch. Because, because like, you know how there's certain games that are, like, not particularly fun or that stand out, like, among us or whatever. But because of the way that the game works, there's drama because it relies on, like, people interacting with each other heavily. So, like, Fireboy and Water Girl requires teamwork and cooperation. In areas where it's, like, you're standing on uh, one platform and it's a pulley and he's on the other platform... And if you step off the platform, his weight will make him drown in the acid and things like that. And we'd like screw each other over. It was hilarious, dude. Games that have this sort of like mundane gameplay, but can really be amplified with these social interactions like Among Us. I think Fireball and Water Girl also fits into this category. It could totally start a huge trend. Obviously, like I get zero viewers. It's not going to start a trend, but it could. It could start a trend. We'd, we'd probably sabotage each other a lot. We'd probably screw each other over. Like when pe multiple people play um, like Mario Bros on the Wii or Wii U and they just pick each other up and throw each other in the lava and stuff. 